So you don't want to send your website visitors to the WHMCS open support ticket link. I don't blame you. I don't want to either. I'll show you how to set it up so that way you can use your own contact form and still have the emails go to the WHMCS support ticket system and I'll show you how to do it the correct way. Okay, I have a setup so that way if I uh, type in uh, maybe my name and uh, can some somebody uh, give me a quick tour. So if I click on contact us and I go to WHMCS oops Bam, it showed up right here. And what's also nice is that um, if I click into custom fields, I'll see the uh, custom fields that I've passed through uh, from the contact form into here. So I'll show you how to uh, go ahead and uh, get this set up. Um, first things first. Uh, what we're going to uh, do is we're, we'll be utilizing the WHMCS API. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the internal API. There's two APIs. Uh, so if I search for WHMCS API, there's an external API and there's an internal API. So if I click on Get Started, um, the external API is basically if your uh, WHMCS installation is hosted somewhere, somewhere else that's... Um, outside of where your website contact form is. Uh, for our intent and purpose, uh, we'll be using an internal API because I'm going by the assumption that your website and your WHMCS installation is uh, on the same uh, server. So uh, what we will uh, do is, uh, I'm going to open this file here, and I already have this set up so that way um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And this will uh, save you some time. I'm going to include this piece of code right below in the uh, description of this video so you can just copy and paste it and then switch out of the uh, different variables. Now um, I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, what you need to do. So first change this uh, to the path. Uh, this should be the path of your uh, WHMCS installation and uh, include the uh, initialization file. Um, so uh, you definitely need to uh, change this unless this is the same location as uh, uh, as on uh, your website. Um, and what you want to do here is just go ahead and comment this out, comment the part uh, top part out, and you want to uh, run the, run the this script here uh, and uh, do a quick test. You might get an error. Um, and if you if you do, uh, uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Once you upload this to your uh, server, you want to um, in your web browser open this file, um, and what what it will do is basically it will uh, open, create a ticket with this demo information, so that way you don't have to fill out a form every single time as you're testing and getting this working, and over here, the print R uh, results will give you basically if there's any errors or anything, you'll be able to see that, or if it's successful, you'll be able to see that as well. Uh, and this is basically I, I just changed a few variables uh, um, on on here uh, um, to make it easier for you. But it's pretty much the same exact file that I have on uh, um, that I'm sending this form to. So once you get that working, and also um, I would remove this part for now. Just just for now, we can add it back uh, if you have custom uh, variables or custom fields. Um, remove that, send a test, make sure this uh, you change this to your administrative uh, username. So if it's not admin, change it to whatever it, it would be. Uh, and after you've done that, open this file in your web browser and you'll be able to see uh, the result. So um, it, it uh, it should go through, or if there's any errors, you can then use that information to kind of go back here and uh, swap any stuff out. Oh yeah, you also need to change the department ID. So to get the department ID, I'll show you how. So in WHMCS, you want to go to uh, Setup, and then you want to go to Support, 
support departments. And then once you're in here, click on the little uh, pencil icon for whichever department you want to set up the, uh, um, that, that you want to send the emails to. Um, so if I check here, uh, this information is not as relevant to us. This information here is relevant. So in the URL, uh, it will show ID equals, and then just that number is basically what you will plug into uh, for department ID. For the other information, you can leave it as is, uh, just for now, uh, and run your test. So you, once you run your test, you should, uh, if you click, uh, go into your tickets, let's see if I can uh, figure out how to go to, to close tickets. Oh yeah, I merged all of the, the, the test tickets uh, over here. But uh, these these were basically all the tests that uh, I was doing. So so uh, once you open that file, uh, this file in your web web browser, um, it'll create a ticket in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up all the custom fields. So in order to set up the custom fields, you want to go back to that screen uh, in support departments, and then. From this screen, click on the custom fields tab and add all the custom fields that you want. You can also set the order display and this uh, the order display is what will show up over here. So if you change the order, this uh, uh, um, if you want to change the order here, this is basically where you would go to do that. So you can uh, you don't really have to add a description or, in, or anything else, really. You just got to add the field name. Um, so go ahead and add all of those. And we'll return back to our uh, script here. And underneath custom fields, make sure you leave this alone uh, because what actually took a lot of uh, time was I didn't realize that uh, it uh, I needed to uh, have this um, because that's how WHFCS, um, I guess, uh, reads it and I think the reason they they want to do this is because um, if there's any kind of custom variables in here they don't want that data to get uh, messed up so make sure that this stays here make sure that this also stays here and then you can go ahead and add all the custom fields and uh, and then also uh, uh, what I recommend for the variables is create static variables for now just for the troubleshooting process and then once you've done that then uh, when you open a ticket, you should see um, uh, all your custom fields under the custom fields tab uh, for each of the support tickets. Now next, I will kind of give you, give you an, uh, a general idea of how you would swap it out, uh, swap out all the stat variables into uh, dynamic variables where you can pass data through your form. So go ahead and comment this out and uncomment the top part. And what you want to do is just you know, set up all the variables uh, that um, your contact form has. So you can even include additional stuff. Uh, uh, maybe you want to find out what their average revenue is for the company or um, where they found you, whether it's from Google or Yellow Pages or, or whatnot. So you can have all that information uh, get passed through uh, using post. Or you can use uh, get, but uh, that's not the best way of doing it. So use post, and then from there you can plug in all the variables in here. Swap any of the uh, of the value variable values out, and then uh, set up all the, the, your custom fields here, and then run a test. and uh, And your emails uh, from your contact form should go directly into here. Now the alternative way of doing it is to have a PHP send mail script. And then you set up email piping, but that's not the cleanest approach. This is the cleanest approach, and this will get the job done a lot more efficient and a lot quicker. So you've probably watched this tutorial because you're either getting ready to launch your web hosting business or you already have a web hosting business and you just want to tighten up the workflow uh, on your website. Either way, I highly recommend sending a press release, and let me show you why. So. PressReleaseJet is a press release distribution company that I have stake in. 
So if I type in press release jet in Google, um, see how it shows top stories right here. So that's from a press release uh, release that uh, we uh, that um, I've sent uh, for the uh, for the company. And what's really nice about this is if you have a, if you're launching a new web hosting business, uh, you want when somebody types in your company name, you want your company to show up on the top of Google. So this will, uh, these press releases will stay on the top here for at least a few days, uh, sometimes even a few weeks, which is pretty nice. Uh, so that will give you a quick jump start. In addition, um, if you're building up your web hosting business or if you already have one and you're just trying to scale up the marketing, uh, what's really nice is that uh, the um, you can include keywords in your press release headline and that will help uh, when somebody searches those keywords, it'll help get ranked in uh, in search engines. So let me just, you know, uh, I'm not really sure what to expect here, but let me just type this into Google, and that might be a little bit competitive for uh, for that keyword. But if I type in maybe Wow. So if I type in press release, uh, PR web versus press release shit, all these news stories show up. So what's kind of nice is that um, for, especially if you're in a particular hosting niche, whether it's uh, uh, maybe you're trying to push solid state uh, drive hosting or uh, maybe uh, light speed uh, server hosting, you can include those keywords in your headline and so when somebody searches for that, your uh, uh, press release will show up. So if I click into one of these, just to give you an idea, uh, this is kind of how it looks like. Now I'm going to uh, copy and paste the full news story URL. And I'll give you a few quick tips. So you want to make sure that your company name and uh, any keywords that you want uh, is in the, uh, in the headline. And also include the, some of those keywords uh, in the body. And also if you have existing maybe blog articles, or uh, knowledge base uh, um, articles uh, include the links uh, uh, in, include some of the links I recommend maybe three or four links in here in the uh, your press release body and what, what that would do is it'll give you some nice high quality backlinks now you can spend all day with SE Nuke or with Scrapebox with Block Comity and, and all this stuff uh, but the value of those backlinks, you spend so much time on that, but it's not going to equate to sending out even just one uh, press release. Because the distribution outlets, these are legitimate um, uh, uh, news outlets, and it includes ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, and CW. Sometimes it even gets into uh, uh, um, sites like LA Times, Washington Post, Bloomberg Business. Um, so. Uh, just keep that in mind. All these sites, high, really high domain authority. So it's going to really help with your SEO efforts. Another quick tip, uh, actually, before I, I uh, um, you know, explain that, let me just give you an idea of the pricing. Now, you may or may not heard of PR Web or PR Newswire, but uh, this is how much they charge. PR Newswire, um, also, and PR Web, they're actually the same company. PR Web is their low end version. PR Newswire, they charge $775. These are the features that you get. The really cool thing is with the press release jet, it's $75. You get all these features, including extra stuff. Uh, so it's really, I mean, you save $700 for every press release that you send out. And this will give you a huge competitive advantage, especially uh, with um, everyone's uh, searching you know, before before anybody moves forward with a business, they may find you through a keyword. Uh, but even if they do, they're going to search for your company. And if it's empty on on Google, uh, or it's just your homepage on Google, that doesn't reflect uh, too well as far as instilling confidence uh, for your um, for your pers prospective uh, customers. So, um, what? Uh, so, if I click into pricing. There's two uh, plans here. There's a $35 plan. This is a $75 plan. I highly recommend the $75 plan, just because you get all of these benefits uh, and you get uh, included into ABC, NBC, 
CBS, Fox, and CW, which is great because you can also add as seen on um, uh, logos to your website. And what this will do is it'll instill a lot more confidence, uh, a lot more buying confidence uh, in your prospective uh, customers. And if you've seen a lot of uh, startups or big companies, uh, they have these uh, on there, and it does help with the conversion rate. It'll help, um, uh, you know, so maybe for every 100 people that visit your website, maybe instead of one out of every 100 that may sign up, um, you know, it could be two or three out of every 100 that signs up, just depending on whatever your conversion rate uh, is. Um, and as a disclaimer, I do have stake in uh, press release jets, but I truly, truly believe that it is an incredible tool. It's going to help your business. Also, make sure you um, get this ebook. Uh, I wrote it myself, and uh, in the ebook, I'll show you how to get to the top of Google using the knowledge graph, uh, get to the top of Google using, uh, through Google News, and also how to uh, leverage press releases to build up your SEO backlinks so that way you show up on the top of Google for your niche. Uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, web hosting niche keywords that you're trying to optimize for. Hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful. I mean, I've spent hours trying to figure this out. Uh, and there's a lot of misguided advice on forums and, and articles on the internet saying that I should use send mail to uh, send it to, uh, to one of the internal emails and set up email piping. It's great to have uh, email piping set up. I actually have another tutorial um, just go to my YouTube channel and uh, search for it. Uh, um, search WHMCS email piping. I have a tutorial for that as well. But that's not the best way of doing it. So, and uh, this this is the legitimate way of uh, passing data from your contact form into WHMCS. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have, uh, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have other WHMCS tutorials as well as tons of digital marketing tutorials uh, from Google AdWords to uh, SEO to uh, email marketing. Um, also, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below. Uh, I also include the code uh, below in the description. And um, other than that, thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, best of luck uh, for your web hosting uh, uh, business.